Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, we want to learn how we can connect the Photon Network with Meta Avatar SDK. And so we can share our actions and our avatar movements between other users. Okay, let's do this. For doing that, uh, you should have the last version of Oculus Integration SDK. And also, you should have the Meta Avatar SDK, which is you need to download it from the website of Oculus Developer Dashboard. It is free, and you should install uh, this SDK on your project uh, and uh, set up the essential settings for uh, Oculus uh, Meta or meta avatar sdk for this one i don't want to talk about this part i want to talk about how we can uh, connect this system the meta avatar with photon okay for doing that uh, we should have uh, a simple scene uh, i called it pawn avatar and in here as you can see, we have just a simple main camera uh, at the first moment of scene launch and direction on our floor. And as you can see, we have Avatar SDK Manager Horizon Prefab, which is you can uh, write this name and search it here and drag and drop this prefab into the your scene. And also uh, you should have a uh, lip synchronized input, which is you can type this name here and drag and drop this prefab into the here. And as you can see, there is no specific option you need to change. Everything has to be uh, default. So, okay. And now let me to explain what is the method uh, in the avatar uh, for each user of meta users on the oculus quest every user has uh, a specific user id and his avatar or her avatar uh, has been defined with this user id so we need to get this user id and send it to the other users and after that uh, one, uh, once the photon wants to instantiate the avatar and the new uh, client for the other users and needs to instantiate the user with the, that user id avatar okay so uh, we have to send the user ID of each user exactly after he wants to, uh, you know, uh, join to the room or create the room. It doesn't matter. It's better to say join the room. Okay, we need to have a specific login manager for our photon. I call it login manager. Let's see what is the inside of this script. Okay. As you can see, it is the contents of our login manager. In here, we have uh, li different libraries photon.pon, oculus.platform, system, and unityengine.ui. In here, we have this text, uh, which is you want to see what is our current status it is in the login it is in lo uh, room you know join room create room and blah blah and in here this is uh, our uh, olong uh, variable for um user id and we will get this number from the oculus platform and in here we have login manager as instance and instance this one and in the uh, wide awake, we will say, okay, instance this script, after, uh, otherwise destroy this game object. Anyway, in the void start, we have three steps. First, 
set user ID from logged in user. Take a take a look at it. If OVR platform init status equal not started, okay. Initialize OVR platform, and while OVR platform dot in status is not equal succeed, try to say okay. If it is failed, write OVR platform failed. If it is not, try null for this one. So it is succeed. Once it uh, get logged in user on complete user id will be equal this message dot data dot id so in this part we get our user id from the user in the oculus platform so you need to know that this script just works on your oculus quest you can't test it on your editor or, or uh, other platforms just on your Oculus Quest. Okay, let's go to the next step. It is connect to Photon Room once user ID is found. It's here. While user ID equals zero, okay, waiting for user ID to be set before connecting to room. But if we have user ID from here, connect to the Photon Room. And what is the connected photon room? Uh, these are related to photon and creation. Uh, now try to join to the lobby, join to the room, try to find some rooms or you know create a new room. These parts are related to photon. Anyway, uh, connect using settings. Uh, unconnected to master, join to the lobby. I'm joining the lobby. Uh, it is our creating room. We are in the this status. And join or create room. It is the name of our room. It can be whatever you want. But I called it room. And I join room. Uh, room name is equal photo network dot current dot name. It is this guy. So we are joined to room with name, room name. Yeah, this guy. And finally, it is the last step of this part. Instantiate networked avatar once in room. Let's do instantiate an avatar, a player with a specific avatar. While photon room a photon network dot in room equal false okay we are waiting for instantiating avatar and while it's fine it is true instantiate network avatar and in this function we have instantiate network avatar and in here we will convert the user id which is we have here user id uh, m user id here try to convert it to n64 user id and after that photon has an option to send and share uh, whatever you want once you want to instantiate on the network a player so i i defined the, this array of object i called it objects equal new object in the line one it is just one element it is user id this in 64 and finally in i cry i created game object my avatar equal photo network dot instantiate this is my name network player and this is the spawn point that position i want to instantiate my users and the scene and the position of it and into the rotation and in here as you can see it is the byte groups i want to be in the group zero the local and uh, public and this is that data once i wanted to share between other users so it will be my user id okay so if i have one user and user a has 
own player and his own user ID and the user B network player for B and also user ID for B okay now in this scene in the login manager we logged into the new scene and also we created a room it's called room and uh, instantiate uh, how many users want to log in into the this scene let's see what is the content of uh, network player prefab because in here we we have another step to say okay let's to stream and uh, the mesh and all the movements of the this mesh of the avatar with the photon network between other users in the room okay we will have for example network player as you can see it is just a simple network player which has Photon voice, network player, and in here bass, speaker, head, right, uh, left hand, right hand. This is uh, the guy, network avatar. I created a new script, it's called network avatar, which is contains all the essential elements and parameters for uh, implementation an avatar. And in here, as you can see, we can say, okay, just bring the first person or third person for our user. And uh, active manifestation can be half, it's fine. And in here, body tracking and lip syncs can uh, have to be empty because we will set the parameter of body tracking OVR platform manager and also lip synchronize. Uh, with the script of network app avatar after we instantiate this uh, prefab as a network player into the scene and finally we will have photon view a simple photon view and photon transform view which has check on uh, pos position rotation and we have sample avatar locomotion you can find this script easily and add it to your prefab sample avatar locomotion okay and i call uh, set the movement speed parameter as one okay let's take a look at this network avatar script on our visual studio okay as you can see, we have several uh, libraries, photon.pon, uh, oculus.avatar2, supposed to be 2 because it is our 2 version, and system. Okay, we have um, avatar to use in zip folder too. I don't want to spend more time because these parameters, these functions are standard functions of, uh, as you can see, OVR avatar entity. So I want to talk about some important functions. For example, in here, and uh, configure avatar entity um, photon view equal get component photon view it is exactly from network avatar get the photon view from this component and in here we have if my photon view is mine equal true set is local okay it is true and set these parameters look at this try to find out the game object which has OVR avatar manager that's it sample input manager and set body tracking for this one and you need to find a game object of type OVR avatar lip sync context and set lip sync for this parameter and called it my avatar if is mine if the player uh, which has instantiated into the scene is not the 
and the is mine is false for him so set is local equal false and just called it other avatar and finally I want to talk about an important part for this guy along I exp uh, I explained the method we need to get the user ID and send to the uh, send the user ID to the other prefabs uh, which has instantiated uh, into the network room and then get this user ID and try to generate the avatar in here we will get user ID from photon instantiation data Photon view, get component photon view, object array instantiation data equal photon view the instantiated data and int 64 data as int and try to convert that thing we have converted in here which was user ID. Okay, we will do this pro and this process but reverse. Okay, in here and return convert dot u int sixty four this one. It is a user ID we have in uh, stored on the uh, photo network instantiated data. User ID in here, and this is user ID as a parameter uh, which is acceptable by our network avatar. After this function, we have the user ID exactly in the void, void start okay and try to load user that's it so as you can see the difference between this network avatar which is which is customized by uh you know photon or by us is we will use the photon view to send and get the user id from other users in the network and then get the user ID in the first moment of player instantiate in the wider start and now we have user ID okay now try to load you and the user with this user ID not that user we get from the Oculus platform okay I hope this uh, tutorial will be helpful for you and you need to know that uh, you need you should have the main camera as a child of network avatar because once you want to move your avatar the main camera can be fit with your head but uh fitting the other but um, parts of your avatar it will be up to you because you can put it this component network avatar for network player it doesn't matter it's up to you if you want to have access to those scripts you should come github.com as Abu Fastanha meta avatar with pan and wiki page and in here you have login manager you should copy from this line until this line into your visual studio and this is for network avatar and using system from here until here I will put these uh, links uh, as a uh, description of the video in this YouTube channel okay I hope this uh, tutorial will be helpful for you uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, make a comment or like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye bye.